Hey guys, Paul here with Toolmetrics. Uh, I'm going to do a little spoon carving today. You may have seen a recent video that I did on this DeWalt die grinder. I'm uh, really liking this tool, so I'm going to use that to carve a, a spoon from this chunk of apple wood. Now, this is a dry piece of wood. I carve spoons uh, occasionally with green wood if I've got access to a nice chunk of green wood. Uh, and then I will use more traditional methods. I'll still use a bandsaw, but I'll use traditional knives. When it comes to dry wood, I'll use um, a die grinder uh, to, to rough things out. Moves along a lot more quickly, uh, a lot easier to carve that way. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'll head over to the bandsaw, make the first roughing cut, and then we'll move over to the bench and use the die grinder. All right, I have an outline sketched out for my spoon, but before I use that, I'm actually going to cut a profile angle uh, for the bowl of the spoon and that will set the angle that I like. It's a subtle thing, but you'll notice it when the, uh, when the spoon is all done. That last bandsaw cut removed my traced line, so I'm just going to add that back onto the blank. Okay, this gives me a template. Alright, I'm going to use two different bits on this project. And the first one I'm going to use is the smaller of the two. I'll give you links uh, with the exact descriptions uh, down below, but for the most part, I'll refer to these as the smaller and the larger bit. And what I'm going to do with this is just start to rough out the shape uh, of the spoon bowl and to give it a little bit of definition. All right, that's getting pretty close in just a couple minutes to the depth and shape that I want. It's still pretty heavily contoured, so I'm going to switch bits. I'm going to put this cut saw uh, round bit on here and start to uh, sweeten up the shape in there a little bit. Toward the end there, what I was doing is just feeling for high spots and then hitting them with the burr. And uh, got it pretty good. I, it could probably uh, stand to be sweetened up a little bit more. Uh, but there's no, there's no tear out in there. Uh, and so sanding won't be uh, too laborious. 
All right, now to clean this, uh, the bowl of the spoon up, there's a couple techniques that I use. Uh, one is to use a, a spoon carving tool like this. And a lot of times what I'll do with dry wood is I'll squirt water in there and let that soak and, and soften it up and then just use this to come in and kind of sweeten up the, the shape a little bit. You can see it, it does a, a nice job even on the straight dry wood. It does a lot better when you soften it up and it's a lot easier to get a, a clean shear. But what I'm going to do instead, since we're kind of in a power tool theme, is I'm going to use a, a tool that I use for sanding bowls. And this is a, this is a, a sanding tool that's designed to follow the contour of the inside of a bowl. So you can see it's it's really squishy and it's got a, an abrasive attached to it. So I'm going to see if I can make some progress on here with this. I wish it was a little bit smaller for this spoon, but it's a good sized spoon. So I think we should be able to make some progress with it. We did make good progress there and those uh, cut lines are just about uh, cleaned up. Uh, so this won't take too long, but I need to get a different abrasive. got the longer skinnier bit and I'm going to just start using that to shape the outside of the bowl and uh, just kind of feather it try to keep it even as much as possible
All right, that's about the shape that I was looking for, and now it's really all about sanding. So I'm going to just start out with 80 grit. You can do this with a random orbital. Uh, palm sander works well also. Sometimes I'll use both, uh, and it's just really fine-tuning the shape uh, and then working through the grits to get it nice and uh, smooth. Then I'm going to just sand everything out through uh, 400 grit uh, by hand. Actually, I forgot a step, so I backed up and I got it soaking wet. And I'm going to raise the grain, and then I'll start over sanding from 220 uh, up to 400. That way, it won't raise the grain when it's being used, when it's washed and and dried, and so forth. So it'll stay nice and smooth. All right, and then I just put a nice liberal coating of mineral oil and just let that soak in and I, I don't even wipe it off uh, initially I just let it soak overnight and I'll come back tomorrow and put another coat on and then eventually wipe it off buff it out put a little bit of uh, a butcher block conditioner which has some uh, beeswax mixed in with the mineral oil and then it'll be all set and there you have it there's an apple spoon power carved all the way and love that grain. Applewood is a nice wood to work with if you can get some in your area. Alright, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have questions and hope you subscribe and come back for more.